underway for an Air Algier flight reported missing over Africa. 116 people on board, including crew members. Fate is unclear at this point. Let's go right to CNN's Al Goodman. He's live with more in Madrid. Al? Hi, Chris. We're getting more details about who was aboard this plane. We've been reporting that it's appeared that the majority of the passengers were French nationals. Now there's a report that there may have been up to 20 nationals from Lebanon as well. And the six crew members, the two pilots and the four crew members, because this was a Spanish plane from a Spanish company right here in Madrid that was leased or chartered to Air Algeria, the national carrier of Algeria. What we have is the foreign uh, ministries in Paris, the French foreign ministry in Paris, the the Spanish Foreign Ministry right here in Madrid and other embassies and diplomatic institutions across Africa have been mobilized trying to find out what happened to this plane. What is known is that it left the capital of Burkina Faso at about one in the morning local time for what was supposed to be about a four hour flight straight north in West Africa to the capital of Algeria, but contact was lost. Now Reuters is reporting, citing a diplomat in West Africa, that there may have been a severe storm in the area and the, and the plane may have tried to make a diversionary tactic. That's about the time that the uh, contact was lost with this MD-83. That's a single aisle, single aisle plane with two engines that was uh, operated by this company, Swift Air, here in Madrid.